Hello, I'm Craig from Synchrolite, and in this video I'm going to show you an exciting new feature in our software called the Show Builder. Now, as many of you know, creating a light show is a very time-consuming task. It can often take several hours to sequence just a few seconds of a light show. Now, with our new Show Builder, you can create a complete light show fully sequenced to your exact display within just a few minutes. But it's important to note the show builder is designed for small to medium sized displays. It will work with larger displays, but you still may need to spend some time polishing off the display to suit your needs. Now, with all light shows, it's critical that you plan your display carefully. You need to plan the layout to ensure you've got enough items to cover things like movement and color changes. Now, we won't go into all these details here, as we plan to do another video covering planning aspects of a display. Now to use this new feature, you need to install our latest 2016 version, which is version 2.05 or later. So if you go to our website, simclight.co.uk, um, you can click on the software tab and then download our software. Okay, once you've installed the software, to access the show builder, you need to start the show designer. Now this is the show designer window you have up here. And if you select tools and show builder, you'll see this is the show builder login screen. Now, because the show builder is an online service, you need to register an email address and password in order to log in. Now, to when you first use it, if you click on create account and enter all your details and then click OK, that will create your account. Now, there is a, a validation process. You have to go through where it sends you an email, the normal sort of scenario, um, and then when you there will be a link in that email that will then sort of validate your account. Once that's done, you can then go back here and log in to the show builder. And then it opens the main show builder screen you can see here. Now, the screen's sort of split up slightly into different areas. At the top up here, you've got the layout, um, which will go through in a second. Uh, you've got your basket here if you if you buy any shows. We have some shows that are free, others, others need to be purchased. There is a, a limited number of shows here. We will be adding more as time goes on. Um, there is links to music. Again, unfortunately we can't sort of give the music with the shows due to, to sort of copyright restrictions, but we have got links on these. So if you click on the link um, it will take you to an approved uh, site to, to allow you to purchase the music. Um, if you have got already got some of the music, you can you can use the music you already have, but you need to ensure that the music is exactly the same as the one we do have, otherwise you might get uh, sort of timing issues with your show. So we do recommend you use the links um, we provide to get the music. Now you can see there is, there is some free shows and some you need to buy. Um, there is a couple of royalty-free tracks. These are Christmas Tree and Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies. You, you can actually get uh, and download without um, any, any cost whatsoever. So it may be worth, if you're starting out, trying those free ones first to, to see how, uh, how you get on. Right, before you can uh, build a, a show, you need to upload your layout. To the online service so, so it knows um, a bit about your display so it can generate a, uh, a show for you. So to do that um, you click on this upload layout button and then you have a, a number of options you can either extract your layout from an existing show or you can use our, our wizard. Now we recommend you use the wizard if you're starting um, because it's going to generate everything for you and so you click the wizard and click next and then this takes you through the wizard that's going to ask you a, a series of, of questions about your display. Now when you do your display it's best to group things into what we call display items which is an item in your display like a line of trees, a row of stars, um, things like that or just a, a large Christmas tree. You group them all into what we call a display item. And in this first step of the wizard, you can see there is a, a list of different, different items here. We've got uh, windows. If you outline the windows of, of your house, you can select that. If you've got a line of stars or a line of trees, 
or an arch if you've got an arch, um, just a, either a single static arch or a multi-channel leaping arch, you can select that. So there's a number of uh, things here to guide you, to give you a few ideas. So, for example, if we're just going to put a line of trees in our display, we'll just call it My Trees, and then click on Next, and then it's going to ask you what colour your trees are. You may just have a single colour on your trees, like white, or you may have all the colours like red and green. So just select the colours that you have and then click next. And then next it's going to ask you how many items, how many segments you've got in your tree group. So if we've got a line of six trees, we, we want to enter six in here. So this is uh, going to create as a display item with six trees in white. And then we've gone either click finish if that's all you've got in your display, or there's a, a add another display item button. So next we'll, we'll click on the add another display item. And then now I'm going to create one called my stars. So I'm going to create a line of, of trees, and then I'm going to create a couple of stars. So I'm going to call it my stars, line of stars, have the stars in say yellow and I'm going to have three. Then I'll click on finish. You can carry on going through this, adding all your other items. And then when you've done, click finish. And then it comes up with this little review screen that's going to show you the items that the, the system's going to create for you. So it's got you know, the names of the display items, which you saw is my trees and my stars. It's going to just give you a, a segment name, um, and a channel name, these are generated internally. Um, so that's them, and then you've got the, the colors there, and then it's going to create your network. The default network is just called Net1, but if you've got multiples or, or you've got a different name, you can go in and edit this and change this, but normally you don't need to. And then this relates to your controllers, the device ID and the output. So here it's just going to be controller one has got all the trees and the first two stars on and then a second controller has got uh, the, the second star on. So that, that's sort of giving you your review. There is a validate button you can use because if, if, um, if there's any errors like um, you've got two controllers used twice or two channels used twice it will it will flag errors up for you. That's particularly useful if you're, if you're uploading a show it goes through the same validation stage and it will highlight any errors that you've got um, in your display. So if you're happy with that, you just click on Next, and then it will just confirm that your My Trees is a line of trees and the Stars is a, a, a line of stars, which is all fine. Then you just click on this Upload button. Now that will upload your definition to our server and that will enable us to, to build a, a show for you using your items you've got in your display. So if you click on OK, you'll see that now this top bit is, has changed and it says you've got uploaded version number one and the date you've uploaded it. Now you can, as your display changes or if you want to try different ideas, you can upload different layouts, keep keep trying different ideas. Um, there's no, no charge for doing that, you just, just keep uploading and uh, it'll just replace the the, the um, definition that we've we've got on your account. So next, once you've got a, a layout uploaded, you can then go and build your show. So you see here with the number of free ones, uh, Wizards in Winter is free at the moment. It, it won't always be free. It's just a, an introductory offer we've got on at the moment. So I'll sort of build the Wizards in Winter one in a second. But if you're buying one. Um, you click on this buy show and then things will appear in this basket here. Then you click on web checkout, it will just take you through to our website and you can just check out in, in the normal way. Once you've brought one through this route, it will automatically allocate it to your account and then this button will change to be to be a build button. So if I just build Wizards in Winter for you, so you can see the, the sort of process you go through, you click on this free button and it now says it's ready to build. This this is what will happen if you if you buy one of these shows. Once, it, once it's allocated to your account, it'll say you're ready to build. Then to actually build it, um, you just click on the build button and it'll say build in progress. 
so that's gone away building your system now it, it will normally happen quite quickly if I, if I click refresh here you see that that's built straight away um, it is normally a very quick to build um, a display but if if um, your show needs any validation or verification any any manual verification is required then it may take it may take a couple of day, days but generally they, they, they do build very quickly so you can see here that's that's built and it's ready to download now so we can click this download button and that will download our show and then it changes to open and that goes and gets our show for you now you can see see behind it has opened the show for us so I'll go ahead and close this now and then you'll see that it has created my trees and my stars uh, and it's put lots of events in there and built a show for us so if you select an area you can see it's got the three segments which are the, the three stars and if I select an area there you'll see it's got the, the six segments which are the six trees so that shows um, all built the one thing you then need to do is to to get the music uh, obviously I said before we, we've provided links to that um, because at the moment this show won't play because it hasn't got a, a link to the music um, if you try and play it, it, it will come up and say it, ca it can't find the music file for that. So you then just have to go in and select where the music is. So this one was Wizards in Winter. Again, you can either use the, the WAV file or the MP3. We, we always recommend the, the WAV files when you're designing and building shows um, because the timings are slightly more accurate. Um, in the show designer it will actually convert an mp3 to a way for you so if you select an mp3 file it will ask you if you want to convert it to to a way file it's normally recommended that you say yes and, and go through that but this one is already a wave so we just select it and click ok and there you go it's um, laid away uh, see the time going on there now we haven't got any visualization on this the, the builder doesn't sort of create a visualization for you so you will need to use your existing visualization or I'm just quickly take you through creating a visualization here and um, click on view visualization and then it comes up do you want to use an existing visualization or a new one in this case we'll just create a new one uh, visualization 2 now all we need to do we've got some trees and some stars in this display so let's just quickly create um, six trees five six trees and a couple of stars three stars actually three stars so I'll just, just do that and then to associate these trees to the display items in my display I use this area over on the right so I click a tree there and then go over to this drop down here and say this is my trees and that was tree number one and say my trees and tree number two my trees three my trees four five finally six and then the stars my stars one my star you see here the the colours changing that they're red when they're not allocated to, to any channels in your show but they change to to that sort of the colour sort of pinky colour once they are linked to a display item in your show uh, so that's my stars number three um, so if you wanted to see what the it shows you in the in the status line down here when you, you sort of mouse over if you want to just check you've got things allocated right so that's um, the visualization quickly created again you can resize it and there's uh, zoom buttons here uh, if you've created a display before you're familiar with that but it, it's quite straightforward to do if you're if you're new to the software so once we've got a visualization we'll then play the show and see so um, there's your display
change the shows and if you don't like you can move things around and tweak it. So as you see, that's the uh, show builder. That uh, sort of concludes this video. If you've got any questions, then uh, feel free to contact us on the website. Okay, thank you.